Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my Sim Airport Let's Play. Now, last time I had problems rebuilding the baggage system, and I said I'd do it between episodes. So, I loaded up the game to do that, and then forgot about it, got distracted. The next day, I come back to my computer, and the game's still running in the background. And this happened. We now have $27,149,917 in the bank account. Amazingly, the airport continued to run up until a a day 122 in the game perfectly fine. Our ratings aren't good. Our passenger ratings are 26%, our passenger and our um, airport uh, company ratings are 26%. Th it's not great. People are annoyed for some reason or other. I don't know why, whether the things are broken or things need fixing. But I, originally I thought, oh no, we're going to have to we're going to have to load up the save and all that sort of thing and I thought it was slightly amusing and then I thought to myself, wait a minute. What can I do with 27 million? So, with this accidental happy accident, um I'm going to crack on. We're going to make this the best airport in the universe. Yeah, why not? Um, now, uh, the developers say they're on to me and my money-making ways. Um, but, hey-ho. Uh, let's... <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to start this episode off with a time-lapse of me rebuilding that baggage system. Uh, it's going to be underground, nice and clean. It's going to look lovely and we've got plenty of money to do it. So let's do that now.
Well, it took some working out, but I finally managed to do it. So here we are on the top ground level. You can see that we have a baggage depot next to this hangar and a baggage depot next to this hangar. This baggage depot is linked to four of the gates. This one just three for now. It might be linked to another one at the end later. And then if we look underground, we can see that both of those baggage things are linked um, to these two hubs and it requires two hubs with the way that I'm doing it um, I wanted a large hub but I think you probably either have to research that or it's not in the game anymore and what I've tried to do is um, then bring it down another level so baggage goes down to minus two levels so the the big long runs the long bit where it's traveling places that's all very much deep underground um, the sorting and the connections to the surface that's at minus one and over here we have a baggage carousel just one for now and we have our ticketing which is very very busy uh, but our bags are going through the ticketing desks down underground our deeper underground all the way through sorting out and heading up to our runway which is all very fantastic now <laughs> why did i put it at minus two why did i go through that extra effort of lowering it down another one it's because i want all our exit passengers to be underground i want them to go down so originally before the the developers added different levels of flooring to this um, we had this we have this corridor down here this was my plan to get people out what i want to do now is escalators down and then underground corridor so what we're going to do is we're going to get the foundations depth for that underground corridor down um, i'm going to put it to about here and we're going to make it too wide to begin with and uh, the brilliant thing I found about the foundations is that if you go lay it where you want it on the level above, and you can use the up and down key, you can then go down to the level where it actually needs to be and lay it in. Um, then we just need to make sure that we've got it long enough. So we're going to go from all the way down here, long there, and just connect that on to. Uh, then what we'll do is we'll put some escalators going down. So what we'll do is we'll do something like foundation that leads we'll just put it there for now like this okay so we're gonna have like a corridor for each gate and as you can see that um, it's missing all the baggage stuff this one it gets a bit close at the end but it's fine now I do want to rework some of this later on but for now this is a massive improvement there we go uh, put this one up to the 28 grand a pop imagine if we was doing this without um, without all this money it'd be very very challenging to do so what I'm doing is really just replicating what we already have but putting it underground there we go putting that up to there oh I went up instead of there now here's the roof of our airport at the minute if we go up you see the roof what I want to do is I want to move all the kind of rest facilities. So like the, the maybe the toilets, uh, but definitely the cafeterias and the lounges. I want to move them upstairs. We're going to be doing that next episode. Today it's about fixing the baggage and about moving people underground. What I really want to do is work out a way I can get them to go underground without them having to walk across the railway line. I was also thinking about moving the road, but I don't know if I can delete road, and I don't really want to try it just yet. What I'd love to be able to do is move the road over here to the left, and then have the railway in between the road, but I can't change... Whilst yeah, While I can move road, I can't move the railway that I know of. Let's just search all construction rail. No, there's the platform, and that's it. Um, it'd be nice to have... And we can only have one platform as well. One of one. So we'd have to dismantle this platform and put it over here. What I'd like to do is put the entrance to the airport up here. So all the drop-offs and, and bus routes down there. And the pickup over here underneath. I don't know exactly how that's going to work yet. And we've still got to double our airport. What I'd like to do 
is all of these runways here are small ones. I'd like to put another load of seating down here. Large, uh, no, sorry, no, they're not small. They are large, but I'd like to do extra large down here. More runways, expand the land. There's so much to do. How are we doing with our foundations? Very slowly. Let's speed things up a little. I bought extra workers during the time lapse to try and make this sort of thing uh, run a bit quicker. Once all this is in, we'll be able to get some escalators, I think. Let's try and find escalators. E -S is it ESC? Oh, um, yes. They're greyed out because it requires research. Okay, quick, quick. Stop. Stop research. What am I... Co I'm re currently researching land expansion. Escalators. Requires a foreman with an office. Right. Hang on a second. What offices have we got? We need some more offices. I don't remember that being double wall. Let's go build, clear that wall there. Right. Uh, we're going to put another office in. We're going to do it just here. So we go wall, 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 wall. Not there. There. And then door. Staff door. Rotate that round so it fits right. That's going to be a zone office. Oh, it automatically goes to all results when you search. Never noticed that. And I can't remember what that was. Was it a foreman? Foreman. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll hire the foreman right away. Foreman. 12 grand that cost us to hire. There we go. Hopefully that office will be sorted out soon. We're going to need a desk. Ooh, not equal signs. Desk. Office desk. There we go. Oh, no, I can't place it until the room's complete. But as you can possibly hear, people are going crazy. Look, they're all building the foundations down here. So we're just going to speed things on just a little bit more until this office gets done. Can we increase the priority of that? Right click. Increase priority. Hopefully somebody will come and do this, this wall this door there we go did they just literally increase the priority of that one block uh, I don't know well um, we'll get the office desk in there in a minute and a chair office chair there we are rotate that round Whoop. There we go. It's now an office. Yay. Where's my foreman? Doesn't matter. Wherever the foreman is, he can make his way there. Escalators research. Queued. No admin. What do you mean no admin? What? I'll have to have a look at that. It might be to do with the fact that we're currently doing land expansion. Pass, pass. Don't know. Right. Let's get the. Let's check the um, undergroundiness. See how things are getting along. There are no foremen available. What? I thought there's a foreman. I have got a foreman. Is he not in his office? Where is my foreman? Right. Okay. Uh, staff. Manage staff. Foreman. Right, where are you? You my foreman? You are my foreman. Get in your office. Come on. There. Escalators are now researching. <sighs> right, I will see you in... 15.9 in-game time. Okay then, so the, by the magic of editing, um, our research here for escalators is now complete. So what we're going to do is, this is the underground passageways. We're going to have to get rid of these bits of wall here. So let's click and make sure we're not paused. Get rid of these bits from when I was... But I, I really wish that you could add foundations without having to clear the walls and if you can I'm doing it wrong but it doesn't matter we're, we're pretty much there anyway so the first thing is is I don't want passengers to pa 
be able to come through this way in the wrong direction so we're going to need um, like a one-way gate or a security security gate uh, security exit there we go so we're going to need security exits so if we put security exits in here in theory then they have no reason to come down here except to go where we want them to so as our workmen are very quickly coming down here to remove these bits and I think there we go let's get rid of that looking good come on workmen work a lot quicker on, oh, there's one there's one they're probably going to go and get that oh there we are there's the other ones running okay so that means now that they shouldn't the passengers shouldn't go through this backwards which is a very important po point point so now escalator down or from this perspective escalator up now I don't want I want to be able to place it on the floor above and work out where I want it not not suitable oh that's because it's going up we want to escalate it down so if we put this at the end of that corridor where does it make it so if we put it there which way is it facing that works sector cannot be vacated that's fine we need an escalator up at the end here we've basically got an, a, a part of the airport where people just can't get out so if I do up here ah oh yes look straight into baggage claim that is fantastic so um, is that a worker that's going the wrong way through there it does appear so right warning messages are gone um, let's see about putting these escalators in properly now I think some of these are gonna clash with stuff yeah look we're, we're oh no wait it, it does actually go in there cool okay I, I didn't think that was gonna fit that's higher than that one did I yeah, I made some of these longer than the other ones. We'll just we'll just put it one lower. We'll put it there. We'll put one there. We'll put one there. And we'll probably just get rid of a bit of foundation or something, I don't know. There we are, I'll put one there. Oh, this is gonna be brilliant! There we go. So the escalators are going <gasps> You went down the escalator is that an escalator now? Has it been built? Oh no, they're building it. The escalators are being built. And then what we'll do is we'll put a piece of wall in here so it forces people to only use the escalators. Probably here, actually, because then we can get rid of this and it can become part of a mega security. Super... Oh, hang on a minute. That escalator's in a different position to all the others. Okay, cancel that one. Cancel that one. We need a new one. Escalator down... Is it pointing the right way? It does appear as if it is pointing the right way. Okay. Escalator down. There. There we are. Right. Uh, yeah. It does look like it's there. Oh, look, look! Our first passengers are using the escalators. Oh, fantastic. This is just what I envisaged. I don't know what you're doing down here. You're a worker of some description, I think. There we are, we've got two people now using the escalators. The other ones are being built. So whilst they're being built, I'm going to request this piece of wall to be built. Here. And we'll see how things go from that. So as soon as that wall goes in, I want to see how many people then start using this escalator. Because people are still using this exit route up there and the wall all right everybody is oh hang on a minute i'm going to dismantle one of these exit gates i know i'm forcing people to use the escalators now so let's go downstairs and take a look hello was it just those two people oh no hang on look here we go everybody is now piling down one set of escalators 
quite a queue is forming at this one, but then they realised that and went to this one. And they realised that and went to this one. Well, hopefully we can get a moving walkway put in place uh, in the future. What's wrong with this toilet? Requires urgent maintenance. We'll repair it now, then. Don't wait. Repair... Oh, my goodness. The, the queues for the toilets are terrible. The, the queues for the toilets are terrible, but the escalators have now cleared. People are coming down. Oh, definitely this this has got to be a candidate for moving walkways. And they're all going to come start flooding up here now into baggage claim. Some of their baggage is already there. And some people will just leave without collecting any baggage. Can we dezone that? Just that strip there. It's annoying me that it overlaps the door. Um, and actually, let's make it go in line with the ticketing area. Oh, that's much better. Well, there we go, folks. Um, what I'll do between now and next episode is I will strip this section out. Um, because people seem to be getting confused about exactly where they should be walking a little bit. Maybe I will take these walls out. I'm, I'm not 100% sure yet. We're going to start getting some... You see these escalators going down here? We're going to have some escalators here going up. And that will go up here. So next episode... So between now and next time, I'm going to sort out this back corridor that we're no, we're no longer using because we've got this fantastic underground escalator. And then next episode, we'll do the upstairs, which I I've no idea how it's going to work. We'll see. Um, we're going to have to have escalators going down to this floor as well as up. So no idea, no idea. We're probably going to have to put lifts in as well. But there we go, folks. Um, that is today's episode of Sim Airport. It looks like we've got some air aircraft waiting to, to leave. It's been a while since we've seen them going around. But thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing how we can spend this 27 million, if at all we can. Um, we've got lots of passengers angry here. We need to sort out the toilets. Ticketing's not as bad as it was, but I would like to rejuvenate it. That's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. And before we go, before we go, we're going to do this month's game giveaway. Now, I, I don't know what the game giveaway is. I will put it in the description of the video but uh, for a prize out of my game goodie bag um, you need to put a question down in the comment section or, or a thought or idea whatever you'd like down in the comment section of this video sometime after seven days from this video being released I will pick one random winner from up to the first 100 entrants and that person will be announced on hellish news and also um, they will be contacted um, by me through YouTube with the prize. So, uh, find out what the prize is in the description. Get your comment down in there. Put three equal signs at the end. And uh, good luck with the competition. But thanks for watching. Uh, if you're new, perhaps uh, consider subscribing. If you want to know anything about me, events, news, whatever, more about the game giveaways, go to my website. It's all there. But for now, thank you for watching. And goodbye.